The Scottish Secretary wants the two metre rule down to one metre. I'm sure Nicola Sturgeon will pick up on that today. There is no ma magic distance that removes all risk from this virus. The WHO say that you should consider at least a metre to begin to think about what you want to do for that phase of the pandemic you're in at that moment. All of our advisory groups that feed into the First Minister and the Cabinet to make these decisions are presently suggesting that two metres is the correct distance for this phase of Scotland's pandemic. Now, you, you could replace the two metre physical distancing ask question with lots of our other elements that we're putting in place about getting people to stay at home as much as they can. So there will, over time, be changes in what we advise and change to the judgments that are then made. Presently, with the present phase of the pandemic, people agree inside the scientific community who are advising the government that two metres is the correct distance to have for this point. I would just end by, I suppose, saying to people um, who, who might be watching who uh, think that we should reduce the two metres to one metre. Now, given the, given the strength of the economic argument that uh, many are making, uh, just consider that if we didn't think it had a risk associated with it, then why wouldn't we just agree to do it? Because there is no interest in the government in making life more difficult for businesses than it already has to be. So the fact that we are not immediately taking that decision suggests that we must judge that there is a significant risk associated with it. And as Jason has set out, these are not absolutes. There are trade-offs and balances that you have to strike, and there is no absolutely risk-free distance. You know, three or four metres would be less risky than two metres, and, and two metres is less risky than one metre. And if you go to a shorter distance, face coverings and other mitigations might be necessary. So we've got to get these balances right. We also know that some of the settings where there may be the greatest economic and practical benefit from going to one metre are also the kind of settings where the risks of transmission are greater. So in, in crowded places uh, where you, you might have to shout over noise to make yourself heard, that's when you're, you're, the way you breathe can make it more risky. So these are difficult judgments that we don't close our minds to. And there's no sort of ideological uh, position in the government here that says we're going to stick to two metres come what may. This is all about getting the right balance into our decision making so that we continue to suppress this virus. And here's the key point. The more we can suppress this virus to get as close as possible to effectively eradicating it domestically, and then of course we've got to think about how we stop it coming back into the country and control it when it does. But the more we can get to that point of effective eradication, uh, the more these debates become easier because we, we can restore greater normality to every aspect of our lives. But that focus on making sure that we do more to suppress it is the vital foundation that we have to build.